Hello, I have a new activity to share with all of you today. This activity is all about things that are magnetic or non-magnetic. To do this activity at your home, you will need one very specific item. You'll need a magnet. A magnet is an object that has a magnetic field. A magnetic field is something that we cannot see, but we know it's there because it will attract certain items or it won't attract them. When I test out my magnet, some objects that I've collected from around my home, some of them will stick. They'll be attracted to the magnet and they'll be magnetic. Other items I've collected from my home, they might not stick. We'll call those non-magnetic, and I'll put them over here. Let's see what I found today in my home. I have a paper clip. This paper clip is made of plastic. Let's test it out. It does not stick to my magnet. It is non-magnetic. Guess what? I also had a metal paper clip. Do you think my metal paper clip will be magnetic? Let's test it and see. <gasps> Did you see that? It's stuck to the magnet. This metal paper clip is magnetic. Let's keep going. I have this stone. It's painted like a rainbow. Let's find out if it's magnetic or non-magnetic. It does not stick. This stone is non-magnetic. I have a tiny wooden cube. It makes me think of the tiniest cube on the pink tower. Let's see if this wooden cube is magnetic or non-magnetic. It does not stick. It is non-magnetic. Do you recognize one of these? You might have one of these at your home. It's a spoon. Spoon is magnetic. Ooh, I have a small screw that came out of my toolbox. It's also made out of metal. What's your hypothesis? What's your guess? Do you think the screw will be magnetic or non-magnetic? It's magnetic. Ooh, now I have a seashell that came from my trip to Maine last summer. Let's see if the seashell is magnetic or non-magnetic. Non-magnetic, it does not stick. Hmm. I have a small blue piece of paper. Let's test it. The paper is also non-magnetic. Ooh. Do you recognize this coin that's worth 25 cents? This coin is called a quarter. I wonder if it's magnetic or non-magnetic. Oh, the quarter is non-magnetic. But I wonder about this coin. I have another coin that's worth one cent. It's made out of copper. 
It's a penny. Do you think the penny will be magnetic or non-magnetic? Let's test it and find out. Oh, the penny also does not stick to the magnet. The penny and the quarter are both non-magnetic. Hmm. But what about this metal key? My hypothesis is that this metal key, I think it might be magnetic. That's my guess. But I'll have to test it to find out. The key is magnetic. Only two more items left to test. I have a small plastic bead. Hmm. This plastic paper clip was non-magnetic. My hypothesis is this plastic bead will also be non-magnetic. But I'm going to test it still to find out. My hypothesis was correct. The plastic bead is also non-magnetic. I have a pair of tweezers. Let's find out if it sticks to the magnet. It sure does. The tweezers are magnetic. I tested all my objects that I found around my home. And I determined that the metal paper clip, the spoon, the tweezers, the screw, and the key, those items were all magnetic. They were attracted to the magnet and they stuck. But the plastic paper clip, the seashell, the plastic bead, the paper, the rock, the penny, the quarter, and the wooden cube, all those items were non-magnetic. They would not stick to the magnet that I have. I hope you enjoyed this activity and I hope you might be able to discover some things around your home that are magnetic and non-magnetic. Have fun! Bye!